The Lone Ranger finally hits the big screen in the form of a movie that's about as long as The Dark Knight. Necessary? Let's review this. The Lone Ranger. So The Lone Ranger stars Army Hammer as The Lone Ranger and Johnny Depp as the Indian that's, the, well, he's a Native American in PC terms, but they call him Indian in this movie. Is it okay to call him an Indian? It's just, it's what they said in the time. Anyhow, he plays the Indian Tonto. So now The Lone Ranger and Tonto team up to take out the bad guys. Now we have our adventure that's about two and a half hours long. But if a movie's two and a half hours long, I have no problem with it as long as I walk out going, oh yeah, totally justified being two and a half hours. Was The Lone Ranger justified? I don't think so. Army Hammer plays the Lone Ranger. He's this lawyer. He's not a gunslinger. He's not a warrior. Actually, he's really passive. He's like, oh, I don't like guns. You know, guns are bad. It's all about bringing them in and having them on trial and truth and justice. Which, at a point in the movie, you're like, you're just being naive and unbelievable. When people are shooting up the barn, you can't just walk out into the open and be like, in the name of the law, and hold up your badge thinking they're not going to shoot at you. Which, of course, does happen. It made me step out of the movie and just be like, I... I'm not buying this guy. And now we have Captain Jack Sparrow as Tonto. I call him Captain Jack Sparrow because he plays Captain Jack Sparrow. I'm a Johnny Depp fan. I love Johnny Depp as Captain Jack Sparrow. But Johnny Depp has been Captain Jack Sparrow in so many things that are not Pirates of the Caribbean. It's getting obnoxious. I suppose he's not completely like Captain Jack Sparrow because the grammar in his sentence structure is like a cliched Indian of that time. No, keep us up. Big explosion, bang. But it's still Captain Jack Sparrow. And these two never really click together in the movie for me. I don't know if it's because Johnny Depp and Army Hammer don't have good chemistry, or it's just because the script is shoddy and doesn't a lot for it. All I know is about halfway through this movie, no spoilers here, but this is this is relevant. They're both buried up to their neck in dirt. They're gonna die. Lone Ranger gets out of that situation and he leaves Tonto there. He doesn't say I'm gonna come back. He's like, peace later. The only reason he came back for Tonto is because Tonto knew where they had to go, so he needed him. But if Tonto didn't have that information, he would have left him there to die. Okay, Lone Ranger, you're a pacifist. You don't shoot people because you believe it's bad, but you're gonna leave a guy buried up to his neck in the ground with scorpions around him to die slowly in the sun. That makes you an asshole. You would be less of an asshole if you took a gun and shot him in the teeth and killed him that way. Leaving people to die slower than they would die if he shot them doesn't make you a better guy. One thing that did work in this movie for me, William Fickner. William Fickner is a good actor. It's fun to see him play villains because he just has so much fun playing villains. The dude made Drive Angry. He was awesome in that movie and he does his best Jonah Hex impersonation in this movie, plays a villain, and he has fun doing it. And it's fun to watch him do it. Is he an original villain? Do you walk out of there going, Going, whoa, dude stole the show because he was so original. No, the dude steals the show because the show's a mess. Shredder, different story. William Fickner's a lot of things. Arukusaki, not one of them. Although he, I guess he's gonna be. Thanks, Michael Bay. Tonto's story was interesting enough. The parts in the movie that made me go, okay, now I'm getting invested in the story. It's all the Tonto storyline. That was actually really good. A couple of small moments shoehorned into this two and a half hour long movie. Another thing that was cool, like cartoony cool, yeah, but a lot of this movie's kind of cartoony. But at this point, you kind of fall back into it because the Lone Ranger theme kicks on. It's all dun 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 And all the action's going down and you just kind of, you you fall into it and you're like, okay, I'll watch this part of the cartoon and enjoy this because of the song. Otherwise known as the song in return fire that plays when you get the flag and you're going back to your base. And this movie does play that up. Among all of the cartoony shit happening, that song makes it all fun. The two hours, 15 minutes leading up to it is just... It's a bit messy, friends. I mean, you could have shortened this up and focused the story. People die, and so now Army Hammer's like, oh, I need vengeance. Or not vengeance, justice, because I don't shoot people in the face. But this clicks in his brain about an hour into this movie. You're like, that could have happened in the first half an hour and been just as relevant. Another thing I found weird, I get it, because this is a way to tell the story, is that the story of the Lone Ranger is being told to this kid, kind of like the Princess Bride, how the grandfather is telling Fred Savage about the Princess Bride. Same thing, really, in this movie, but it's not... It doesn't do anything for the story. All I see is a thing that can be taken out of this movie to make the movie a more manageable and logical length. In the end, for the Lone Ranger, you're not gonna remember it in T-minus one day. Yep, already forgot. That's two of that rating in like five days. So what do you guys think of Johnny Depp and his Johnny Depp-isms? I wanna badmouth the guy, because the guy's a good actor. But are you like, all right, yeah, Jack Sparrow, I get it. It's fun, but it's a, you can do more. Or do you have no problem with it? You love it every time he does it. Whatever you think, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.